Hey, this is Logan from Broadfield. In the next nine or so minutes, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and deploy Killalink Server Pro. You can find a complete guide on Killalink's website, and this video is by no means meant to replace said guide. I'd recommend referencing it. We're going to be using it in a little bit. When this install is completed, my Killalink Server Pro will be able to manage my Killalink devices, support multi-link bonding for the P-Series, stream RTMP and SRT, as well as have a direct NDI output. The steps I'm going to be walking you through are configuring the server firewall. You will need to configure your network firewall as well. And then installing the prerequisites, which are going to be curl and docker. And finally, installing Killlink Server Pro and verifying the installation. I'm starting with a fresh, clean install of Ubuntu version 22.04.4 LTS, fully updated, with an active internet connection and a fixed IP address. I'm using Ubuntu because it includes the Avahi daemon, which is needed for NDI discovery, and this also allows me to skip that step in the installation guide. Version 22.04.4 is also the last version to support VNC, which is what I use to remote into my server. It's also what I'm most familiar with and most comfortable with. Let's get started by opening our terminal window. With my terminal window open, I'm going to log in as admin. So I'm going to type in sudo su, press enter, type in the password for the machine, and now I'm logged in with admin privileges. Killalink Server Pro needs certain ports open, so I'm going to show you how and which ports to open. First thing we're going to do is define the default rules. So go ahead and type in UFW default allow outgoing and then UFW default deny incoming. And again, that's just going to set the default rules for your firewall. Now, the ports we need to open for Killalink server are going to be the web ports 80 and 83. So we want to type in UFW, allow 80, and this is going to allow it on both TCP and UDP, but 83 we want on TCP, so we're going to type in UFW, allow 83 slash TCP, and that will define it as a TCP port. Next set of ports we're going to want to open are going to be our linking ports for any of the kill view devices we want to add to the server. And those are going to be ports 50,000 to 50,001 along the UDP. So UFW allow 50,000. And since this is a range, you can separate it with a colon 50,001 slash UDP. The next ones we're going to want to allow are for SRT and RTSP. Now since when we have a range of ports we need to specify whether this is UDP or TCP and we want these next ports on both, we are going to have to do this twice. So UFW allow 30,000 to 30,300. TCP, and then we can do the same thing, but instead of TCP, now along UDP. The next set of ports are going to be open for NDI. So we want UFW allow 5353 UDP. And then the last two ports we're going to want to open for NDI are 59, UFW allow 5961 to 5962 TCP. Once we have that done, we have all the ports we want open. So we can do a UFW enable 
and now our firewall is enabled. Now that we have all our ports set up and we have the firewall enabled, we can go ahead and type in UFW status. And we can see all of our port rules. Next up is going to be installing curl and then docker. So in order to install curl, we just type in an apt install curl. And then once that do that's done, we can finally install docker. Type in curl space dash fs uppercase sl space https colon forward slash forward slash get dot docker dot com space pipe space bash. This is going to take a few moments, so at this point get the installation guide because the next command is long and you want to make sure you have the correct syntax. Alright, now for the reason we're all here. Input the following command into the terminal window to install Killlink Server Pro. Now for the longest part of this install. This is just going to be the EULA, and you can keep hitting enter. This may take a moment, you can hold it. Eventually you will be prompted with a yes or no question and you are going to want to type in Y to agree. You will be asked to define the installation path and press enter. If you get this warning, you can go ahead and type in deleting and hit enter. After that, you'll be prompted with a yes or no question. Go ahead and type in Y for yes and hit enter again. And if you don't get this warning, no worries. Next, we just have something saying, reminding us that our web port is 80. You can go ahead and hit enter on this. And then 50,000 for your Kiloview devices. You can go ahead and hit enter again. This is where you're gonna wanna put in the IP address of your machine that is running the server. This machine, in this case, this one is 192.168.1.44. Press enter. And now you're all set up with Killalink Server Pro. Now that I have Killalink Server Pro installed, I'm going to open up a web page. And with the server IP address, which is 192.168.1.44. I'm going to verify that I have access. First time login, the default username and password are going to be admin and killaview001. You can go ahead and read and agree. You click login and now you have access to your web UI for Killing Server Pro. Now that I've verified I have access on a local machine, I'm going to head on to another machine and see if I can access it from there. Now that I'm on another machine, I'm going to go ahead and type in the same IP address of 192.168.1.44. And once again, the username is going to be admin and the password is going to be killaview with a capital K. 001, read and agree, and we can see I have access.